All right. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Mike Pulver, president of the New York State Mortgage Bankers Association. Uh, as you can tell, it's casual Friday here at GRB Bank. Uh, we just want to give everybody just a, a couple of quick updates and obviously some um, action items that we're working on as a team. So one, um, had the good fortune to attend the National Mortgage Bankers Association um, conference uh, this, this past uh, few weeks out in Denver. Um, great convention. You know, a couple things that I just walked away with is that first and foremost was a very um, upbeat tone. People are feeling a lot more positive about the business, uh, the prognosis for increased uh, business, and specifically the forecast from the MBA was that 2025, we're going to see about a 28% increase in business over 2024. And you might ask, well, why is that, Mike? You know, really, the reason is, is they do expect a, a slight decrease in rates, which I'll talk a little bit more about here in a second. Um, so we might see a slight increase in refinances. Um, two, you know, continued um, optimism about new construction um, that will increase, you know, the amount of home starts. And really, um, the industry is beginning to see some movement to really address the inventory problems that have plagued us for many, many years. So, so hopefully that all comes together. Um, in regards to the rate environment, you know, it, you know, really, you know, there was this expectation that we'd see probably a, a, a bigger decline in rates in 2025. The consensus is, is that really um, doesn't appear to, uh, is going to take, take place. I mean, right now, 30-year rates are in the high, the high sixes, low uh, 7%. And the expectation is, is that you know, the Fed will probably gradually reduce rates. But mortgage rates are really probably going to you know, drift down a little bit, but very, very slowly. Um, now, to shift gears a bit, as you guys all know, you know, my theme for this year was to increase inventory. Um, and I just left about a half hour ago a meeting of the Rochester Task Force called Reimagine Rochester. And this has been a task force that has been established to really here in my hometown to really begin to put together initiatives and actions that will increase the amount of homes for sale. And I'll just share with you kind of what came out of this and things that really need to change. So the crux of the problem, one of the biggest impediments that we deal with to move the dial on this is the zoning laws that exist today are just outdated. They're just not current. They need to be re reformed um, really to allow builders to build bu homes, uh, townhomes, et cetera, and allow for more density. You know, right now the zoning laws are just not allowing for that and it's just resulting in too much expense and the builders just can't build homes that are affordable. So zoning reform is a big um, uh, agenda. Uh, item. Also, one of the things that is plaguing us as well is that we're getting a lot of pushback to where the zoning reforms, the changes that need to take place, it's really almost a town by town initiative. And what we continually hear is, hey, that sounds like a great idea, but not in my backyard. So these builders and developers are coming with, up with some very innovative solutions that unfortunately are just getting shot down by these local planning boards and that needs to change as well. Um, and then the other piece where there is beginning to get some really positive movement is on the reuse of uh, commercial real estate that may be vacant, it could be a mall. Um, we're going to see more to come on those types of positive changes so that we can begin to, to uh, tackle this inventory problem uh, as, as well. Um, last time we talked a little bit about um, the role and the impact of manufactured housing. I think we're going to hear more and more around that as a solution uh, to this as well. So last thing I'll say is, you know, a lot of this, you know, does take 
time and resource, uh, resources from all of you. So um, we're going to be on a campaign. Our political action committee is going to be asking for contributions. So look for that um, over for the next few months. And I appreciate your time. We'll see you next month. Have a great day.